Hello guys, welcome back to the C1 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily C1 Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the reinforcement ratio for the column. The reinforcement ratio. First of all, I will define the reinforcement ratio. The reinforcement ratio can be defined as uh, it is the ratio of uh, the, the area of the steel to the area of the concrete. This ratio is known as the reinforcement ratio. So, now what is the reinforcement ratio for the column? is according to the ACI code, according to the American Concrete Institute code 10.6.1.1, it states that the reinforcement ratio for the uh, longitudinal bars of the column uh, should, not be, should not be less than the 0 0.01 and should not be greater than the 0 0.08. So this ACI code states that the reinforcement ratio for the longitudinal bars of the column should must be in this range. Now, I will explain this ratio by taking one example and will solve example and will show you that how we calculate the reinforcement ratio for the given column, for the design column, and how it should be in this range. Now, to explain the reinforcement ratio in detail, let's consider taking an example of this is in a design column. We design the column and we place the steel bars like in this way right and this is our the concrete reinforced concrete beam uh, reinforced concrete column and the dimensions are let's suppose 12 inches and 12 inches this is the section of the column and and th these are the six bars and we design the, these all bars are number six bars these all are the one, two, three, four, five, six. These are six number eight bars. We des after designing, we know that number eight bars are used in this column. So now its reinforcement ratio can be determined as reinforcement ratio of this column is the area of the steel to the area of the concrete, right? Area of the steel to the area of the concrete. As we know that the area of the steel, uh, these, are num these are six bars are used and the number eight bars are used. So we know that the number eight bar area is 0.79 inches square, right? This is known to us that the number eight bar have area of 0 0.79 inches square. While these are, num these are six in numbers, so we will multiply the six with the 0 0.79, we will get the total area, which is, comes out to be 4.24 inches square. So 4.24, four, sorry, it's 4.74. So 4.74 inches square of reinforcement is used in this column while designing. So we'll put this reinforcement here, 4.74, right? Dividing it by the area of the concrete. The area of the concrete here is the total section, 12 inches into 12 inches. So it comes out to be 12 into 12, means 4.74, dividing by 144 so this ratio is known as the reinforcement ratio and after calculation this ratio comes out to be 0 0.03 so now the reinforcement ratio for this design column is 0 0.03 which is greater than the 0 0.01 and less than the 0 0.08 so now this column is according to the ACI code 10.6.1.1. This is according to the recommendation of the American Concrete Institute and it is well designed column and we can uh, proceed this column for in practical uses. So this was the today topic, the reinforcement ratio of the longitudinal bars, only the longitudinal bars, right? This ratio. Uh, can be defined only for the reinforcement ratio, for the longitudinal bar, this bar, not for the ties or stirrups. So this was this today topic and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.